it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Hip Kit Club and I'm working with the lovely January kits so I've got all of the kits um, I think all will feature on this layout um, and it's mixed media Monday so I'll be getting messy with some mixed media as well and it's been quite a while since I got this messy um, with mixed media I've tended to stick to dry mixed media a lot lately and blending brushes but I was feeling in the mood to get a bit messy today so I've um, got a sheet of textured white basil cardstock. I think it's the hammered texture um, on the background as opposed to that lovely linen one. Um, and I've applied some clear gesso. It's the Liquitex clear gesso. And I've applied that with my brayer um, just off camera so that it had time to dry. And you can see my pages warped slightly because of it. Um, but yeah, so I have got gesso on my background for a change. Um, and I had a DT prompt today to scrap about or celebrate um, the love of my life or somebody that I love in my life, um, which was really easy for me. So um, that's my little boy. <laughs> love him to the moon and back 10,000 times as we tell each other every day. It's our little thing. Um, but yeah, I love him more than anything. And this photo is of him on our holiday last summer. Um, I was trying to get him to go in the sea. He can be a bit hit and miss with things um, and he's a bit scared of the sea. So I bought him this lovely rubber ring um, and just tried to get him in. And he did, he came in with me. Um, we went in really deep and we were swimming and he was loving it. So I um, wanted to use that photo today. And the January kits are so colorful that I thought I could make a really nice colorful summery layout with them. Um, so that is my plan for today. So starting off with my mixed media, I'm using a few different products. I've got the Jenny B Blue Vibes. I think that came in the July colour kit last year. I've also got the Frostbite Vibes that comes in the January kit. And I've mixed the two of those on the page at the moment and added loads of water. I'm also using the blue and yellow um, Catherine Paula design ink pads from the August kit just to make a, a green. Uh, mixed those together on some packaging with some water and added that on top. And I'm just la spraying loads of water on that and tilting the page, trying to get the colour to run, using my finger here and there to fill in some bits if needed. Um, and I'm going to come in with some um, original shimmers in a second as well. Add a bit of everything to this layout, really. Um, and dry the layers off in between where I can and use a paintbrush and some water just to soften those edges so they're not so harsh. Um, just generally playing with it until I'm happy with how it looks. So keep adding to it, keep drying it in between. Um, so I'm adding various shades of blues and greens. I'm going to bring in the um, Shimmers Winter's Mist from the January kit in a minute. And also the Shimmers Evergreen as well. Um, so loads of different Shimmers products to add a little bit of sparkle. Because I've added so much water to this background, I have lost quite a lot of the shimmer. So I've just dulled it down with the water, really. Um, it's left a kind of glittery effect to my background, but it's not as shimmery as Shimmers products would usually appear. Um, but that is just because of the water and also because I'm adding white acrylic paint as well. So I've watered some of that down on some packaging. I'm adding some splatters, um, letting them kind of absorb into the background a bit and kind of disperse out as they do. Um, and then I'm going to add some more water and smush that around a bit more and give it a kind of more pale blue look. Um, and just really having a play and just keep going until I'm happy with it. Um, it does look quite messy at the moment, um, but once all my bits and bobs are on top, um, it looks totally different. So I keep adding in that uh, Vibes Frostbite, which is a lovely blue you can see in the middle there. <coughs> um, and also, this is the blue Winter's Mist Shimmer from the January kit. There's a bit of the evergreen on the background there as well. Uh, and just more water and more tilting. I'm just trying to spread all that colour, mix all the tones together. Obviously, I've got that white acrylic paint in as well. So it's given it a, a kind of almost clouded, chalky look as well. And then I'm just using my heat gun to dry it off and also to spread the colour around. Um, soaking some of it up with a tissue, but not all of it. And I'm drying it in some areas. So you kind of get an outline of the colour. Um, just to give a variation in the design really. I don't want the whole background to be one colour. I don't want all the colours to mix together and just be one. I want to have different areas and like you can see there's some blue at the top and you can see a bit more green down the bottom there. 
Um, and I'm also drying the back of my cardstock as well, just to help prevent the warping a bit and just help it dry a bit more evenly. Um, so you'll see me flipping the page over a lot, um, just trying to dry it. So I've skipped through the rest of the drying um, process for you. It did take me some time to dry this off. Um, just giving you a little close up there. You can see what I mean about the shimmer in the shimmers products. It's just not really there because I added that water and the white acrylic paint. But I still love how it looks. Um, not quite finished though. Um, this is one of the stencils that we get in the January kits. We get three stencils in total this month. I think it's three. We get two um, kind of patterned ones and we get one stitching one as well. Um, and I'm using the blue Catherine Pooler ink pad from uh, the August kit last year just to add a bit of colour and sort of stenciling detail to my background. Most of that gets covered up um, by the end, but I did just want to have a little bit of detail there. You can still see a tiny bit of it, um, but not as much as I was hoping for. So my background, I'm going to use some of those chipboard frames from the embellishment kits, these kind of geometric frames, and I love them. And I've been trying to decide how to use them. The centre of them is quite small, so it wasn't really large enough to kind of back with a photo. Um, so I'm going to use them as kind of the base or the anchor point of my layout and have three of them on the page behind my photo. So you won't necessarily be able to tell that they are frames, but you will see that geometric design around the edge of my photo. Um, and I love how that turns out. So I'm just gonna stick those directly to my background and have my photo on top. But I want to add some layers behind my photo. So I'm selecting some of the pattern papers from the main kit, um, just adding them in squares behind my photo. So the, I've done a layer of white, which I always like to do, just to help give my photo a bit of separation from the rest of the layout. And then I've added some blue patterned paper, um, which I've framed my photo um, square on, so and cut that evenly around the edges. Then I'm adding um, one of the patterned papers, my favourite one with all those like bright coloured shapes on. I've gone for a kind of greeny blue area of the page, you can see it there. Um, that is paper is just absolutely stunning. I think it's brilliant. I'm so glad I had two sheets of it because um, I love it. And now this is, um, I think it was called Peach Fuzz or something similar. Um, one of the coloured cardstocks from the cardstock kit. Um, and the cardstock kits are really good this month, really special. So they are hip kit exclusive cardstocks and they're double sided. So one side has almost like a texture print on it, a bit like basil cardstock print. And the other side has a like polka, dot, uh, polka dot pattern. Um, so you get kind of two for the price of one there, so love those. Um, I've also decided now I want to back these frames with some patterned papers. I just love this paper so much, I wanted to get a bit more on the page and I wanted a bit more colour as well. So I'm using these frames. Um, these are sticky chipboard frames, but because initially I didn't know where I wanted to have them on the page, I have applied talcum powder to the back of them to remove all the sticky, so it just meant I could move them around the page until I was happy with them. So now to get these papers to stick to them, I've just had to add some double-sided tape. Um, and I've backed them with all the same pattern paper, but I've gone for different areas of that paper so that each frame has a different colour in the centre of it. And now I'm just going to get those stuck in place with some double-sided tape. So now those are in place, I'm going to work on embellishing. So I've pulled out some die cuts from the pack in the main kit. Um, I'm gonna use that exciting piece there as my title. Um, this was the first time really my little boy has used um, a big float like this. So um, he was really excited. I think truth be told, he was really nervous as well. Um, but once we were in, he absolutely loved it and we had a whale of a time. Um, so I've gone with exciting for my title and then I've pulled out loads of kind of rainbow coloured bits I wanted this to be a real summery bright fun page So I've pulled out all the bright coloured bits I could find so I've got a couple of um, Kind of pie chart colour wheels with different coloured segments on I've got a couple of like almost look like windmills You know the ones you get at the beach for sale like the plastic ones where the wind catches them and spins them round a few of those um, I've got a sun and I've got that um, sort of happy repeated piece as well where it's in different colours. 
And then I pulled out the clear stickers from the Pocket Life Kit and I really wanted to use some of these but couldn't figure out what to do with them or where to put them. So I decided to just add them to my background just as some background detail. Not necessarily so that you can read the words or the phrases but just because it just adds some detail and some colour to my background. So the one at the top and um, the one at the bottom you can obviously read. So I've got Enjoy Today and Dare to Be You, which I thought worked well with my photo and the little story behind it. And then the other ones I've just cut in half and added half on one side of the layout and half on the other side, really. Um, you can't read what the words say, but there's just adding some colour and some detail there. And I thought that was a lovely, interesting way to use those pieces, um, just to add them into the background there. I've also pulled out a couple of the tassel stickers, the puffy stickers from, um, I believe, the Pocket Life Kit. Again, I've added those in along with some of the stars from the same pack. Um, I've got a couple of chipboard pieces from, I think, the main kit, I think they were from. Um, I've got a geometric heart and a rainbow, which I love, and they've got silver foiled detail on as well, so it's super gorgeous. Um, I've also added the little kind of like mandala stickers from the clear stickers from a pocket life kit. I'm just coming in with another one of those word stickers. Um, I'm just adding all the things really. I just wanted everything bright and fun and summery on this page. Um, I've also added three kind of phrases from the puffy stickers in the pocket life kit to the top right hand corner of my photo. So they say, today be amazing, reach for big things and exciting times ahead. Um, and I love those and I love the colours of them as well. So I've got those at the top of my photo. Um, I've got a chipboard circle over on the left with my little um, geometric heart there and that says more of this which I love and then I also added a few puffy sticker hearts around the layout as well so real summery and fun absolutely love how this page came out and it's lovely and bright um, which I just love bright colours bright things just really appeal to me and rainbow colours so really love this one um, and obviously it finished off with some splatters there as you saw using one of the Shimmers Vibes products. And I've just cut the branding strip off the top of my page and that is me done. So thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this layout and the process and it's given you some inspiration for using your January kits and having a bit of play with mixed media. Especially if you're new to mixed media or it makes you a little bit nervous just whack some gesso on a bit of cardstock and have a play. Add loads of products, loads of water, just tilt it about, use the packaging technique, just have a play and have some fun. I find it really therapeutic sometimes. And even if I don't have a layout design in mind at the start, once I've got my mixed media on the page, often that helps me decide on what products I want to use and where I want to put them. So do just have a play and enjoy it. If you don't like it, at the end of the day, it's just a bit of cardstock. You can always bin it and start again. So please don't be scared to have a play. Um, but thanks very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you next time.